Um, very, very happy to, uh, to finally get to uh, Thursday. And um, I, I like the way our guys have practiced all week. You know, I think no matter if we're playing Oregon State next week, Northern Illinois, um, after that, South Dakota, I think our guys have really bought into uh, it doesn't matter what happens on the other side of the ball. It's about what we do, how we prepare, and, and they've had a really, really good week. So hopefully it'll come out on Saturday. Did you re reemphasize that this week, given what happened at Oregon State last huge, week? Huge, huge, uh, because I think you know kids uh, are going to be outside influence on people beyond here. You know, So I was really trying to guard our edge. And you know, one of the great things that has been publicized out there is that Mike Riley and Coach Christ and you know, he's been there 10 years. They've won a lot of ball games. So what they do isn't going to change a lot. But um, they're going to come back, and they're going to try to be the most improved team in college football. And that's what our goal should be, too. It, Lewis made a couple plays. Was you know, good? Yeah, in, in the first game where they didn't just come to him where he had to, like, shed a block or right. that. Is that a good next step for him if he can continue that this year? I think I was impressed with Lou. Uh, he's playing his best football. Um, still did a lot of nice things. Actually, when we were doing MVPs, I thought he might be the guy they say. But... Um, just has a couple little things to, to clean up, but he's probably as strong as he's ever been. He's very fast, very gifted, and he's, he's just got, finally gotten a knack for it. And now he has a little bit of an edge. And the other thing I learned, we were playing this game where, the, where we go around the room, we call I respect. And a couple of the young D linemen stood up and said, I respect Louis Nzegu because he makes us come watch film. Or, you know, he uh, uh, tells us what we need to get done in a week. So he was passing on the things that other kids had passed on to him. And sometimes that kind of stuff makes him better than, than anything else. To change your preparation at all when you got to get ready for possibility of two quarterbacks? Yeah, no. Um, yes and no. We have to understand who's in the game, but really there wasn't much change in their offense between the two when they're in there. Now I, I understand, and uh, you know, read some of Mike's comments where he said, you know, both of them have stronger traits in certain areas. So, uh, but both both of them to me seem to be very accurate. Both of them have good uh, composure. Both of them can run a little bit if, if given the opportunity. So to me, it isn't a lot of difference in preparation and. Uh, whoever's back there, we're going to have to defend. How about if they're missing the back? Is that a big blow? You know, I, I read that, um, but again, it's more about what we're doing. Um, I remember Agnew, we recru I, I remember evaluating him and recruiting him um, so he knew the name right away, and, and uh, you know, he did a really nice job in that game, so it'd be a shame if he, if he is injured. But, you know, we've had a couple guys that had past hit hamstring injuries, and I read that he'd had him in high school. So, A.J. Fenton, you know, he's, I think this is his third or fourth hamstring pop, and, you know, so it's. It's one of those things. What is up with Fenton? Is he close? Yeah, he's back? playing this week. Okay. Yeah, he'll probably start on probably th two of the four special teams and probably get reps uh, at linebacker. When at the end of spring, had he put himself in a position to challenge for some things in camp? Had he been healthy? Totally. Um, I think Hawks was really excited about him. You know, uh, he was a guy that played in an All-Star game at quarterback. And he played safety. He never really played linebacker, but had really taken the Hux's coaching pretty well and was on the verge. He's probably our fastest linebacker. Um, so to get him back out there would be, be a huge uh, asset. Do you have any reaction to the latest criticism of the scheduling that came out this week in Wall Street Journal? It seems like a lot of the same stuff, but what's your reaction? Yeah, um, I think everybody can have a comment and a, an opinion about scheduling. There's a lot of things you have to work through. Um, I would love an opportunity. I said it, but the thing that I will not do is I'm not going to uh, go play somebody uh, a big-time BCS if they're not going to come to Madison, and that's been the number one fault or one, number one thing we can't overcome is people don't want to come here. Um, which is a good thing, but it's a bad thing when you're trying to schedule. Is that the one criticism that won't go away? Do you hear more about scheduling? Than no, I don't hear anything about scheduling. I, I know that someone said something to me on Tuesday's uh, uh, media day just so I could be prepared with a question, but uh, you know, I, I frankly don't care. And, you know, we, we got to do what we have to do. The Big Ten has mandated now that we're going to go to a nine-game schedule, so that dramatically affects uh, you know, this, this, the system for us to move forward. Do you anticipate a pitch count of sorts with Manessa Garner, or are you just going to... Well, it has been during fall camp. He's not going to go in there and play 60 plays. Uh, I think uh, Nick and, and Abby both were 30 to 40 plays last week, so as long as it stays in that same range, it's not going to be an issue. Any other injuries? Or any, or uh, no. For Travis actually practiced today. I don't think he'll play um, unless it's a, one of those type situations. Um, uh, no. Um, uh, Melvin Gordon um, was a little bit banged up during the week, but he's, he looks full go, so everybody, everybody should be back. The other day, Huck said that he got Trotter, Marcus Trotter mm -hmm. for a few plays, but yeah, he, he up actually has uh, restrained it. So uh, okay. our number two middle linebacker would be Josh Harrison. Josh. Yeah. Was it an easy call bringing Russo back um, from the spring? Yeah, you know what? He's actually not cleared to play. Okay, he can. He can. He's kind of like a transfer student who can practice but not play. Okay. And he'll never get on the field. Um, but he was very passionate about it. Our players really 
took to him and really liked uh, what he did. And I was getting down, you know, I can only carry 120 on my roster. And I had to do some jockeying even just to get him in camp. So um, I, I just know that the kid, you know, like he basically said to me that, that this dream was something that he used to motivate him while he was in Iraq and doing tours. And, and I, didn't, I wasn't going to take away that dream. Uh, I'd love to let him go out and run for one play. But unfortunately, any games he plays in, we'll be, we'll, we will lose by, by nature. So What's the reason for that? Um, he's been a transfer student. And, uh, he's kind of gotten a hodgepodge resume. And mm -hmm. um, it, there's a bunch of stuff that had to get cleared for it to all come through. And he's just happy practicing and being a part of the team. What does that say to you that he, he'll go through this and won't, won't even get the record? I don't know how smart he is, uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, I know he loves it. He, nobody worked harder in our summer program than him. Uh, ben said that over and over and over, and, and um, I had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with him where I was actually going to go the other way. I was going to say, hey, it's time to, to move on. You had your chance in the spring. And, uh, but after what he said to me, and I could tell the passion that he said it with, I wasn't going to take that away. Well, what, what did he tell you? Just about how it had a lifelong okay. dream. And, and at that time, we thought we might be able to get him cleared to play. Um, so that is something that's you know, been, been kind of a slug to him, I think, there as of late. But uh, he'll get a lot out of this. Sometimes that stuff goes way beyond any victory, any, any win, any, um, anything along that lines.